Hey guys, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm. Today I got a treat because uh, I've never really showcased a product here on the channel before. I mean, I've kind of shown some products that we've purchased and used, but I didn't purchase this. This was sent to me by the company and the timing could not be better because as you've seen in recent videos, if you've been following us, we recently started selling some firewood and now I'm thinking about building the firewood inventory for next year. And I'm gonna want to take my tractor into the woods and harvest more firewood. And if you're like me and you have taken your chainsaw into the woods and you've used your tractor, you've used your ATV or your side by side, if you have one, I don't have one, uh, you haul your saw into the woods and unless you have some specially built mount or system or way of carrying your chainsaw, you always kind of end up rigging something up. On the tractor, I usually just throw it in the bucket. Um, and once I get into the woods, if I'm moving things around, sometimes I forget that the chainsaw's in the bucket and I'll use the bucket to move a log or lift a log or move some soil or level a spot. And then I've got a chainsaw there that you know runs the risk of getting damaged. I've also at times sat the chainsaw down in the woods while I'm doing some tractor work and then I forget where it is and I've nearly run over the chainsaw one time. I came within inches of running it over. So anyway, all of those problems are avoided with this product. The product is called Saw Haul. Got my hand in the way there. Saw Haul, and maybe you've seen this, but they are an American company, an American made product, and Saw Haul makes a variety of different chainsaw mounts for tractors, for ATVs, and for side-by-sides. I have today the tractor mount. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the saw haul in action. I've decided I'm not going to do a comprehensive install video. There's a couple of those already on YouTube. And frankly, from what I can tell, the install is pretty straightforward. There's a couple U-brackets that goes right around the loader arm and mounts into the saw haul contraption and then that's it, you're ready to go. So it's like four bolts maybe, and the thing goes together pretty quick. So I'll probably just set you guys up over here. We'll blast in time lapse through the, the quick install. Um, if I have anything to share about the install, I'll do that when I'm done. And then we'll drive into the woods. What I'm really curious of, I know the saw is going to stick out on the side of my tractor once the mount is on there. I'm curious how far it sticks out and if that becomes an issue when I get into the woods when things are real tight. So follow along today, let's have a little fun. Here we go. go the saw haul is installed I was really curious to see how much this uh, chainsaw was gonna stick out on the side obviously I knew because it mounts in there the way that it does that it's gonna stick out a little bit uh, you know I'm maybe just a little bit beyond where the edge of my bucket is uh, so as we're driving around in the woods and we're gonna go out there right now I'm curious to see if there's branches that stick out or some shrubbery you know smaller stuff if that gets caught on this the way that it sits out right here um, even if you know small stuff does I'm sure it would just scrape by but anyway that was kind of the my biggest fear with this thing is that it was gonna stick out in a way uh, the only other thing that I was thinking about as I was putting this together is if you're jumping on and off the tractor a lot and in a hurry like I frequently do this hardware here does stick out just a little bit so you know it might be possible to catch your hip or to catch your pocket and tear your pants on the bracket that's right there but I mean it's it's really just sticking out about that much This is one of my tighter trails and most of the most of the trail the tractor is leaning a little bit so I was really interested to see if we caught any of these small trees on the way in here but why I came down here is because I know there are a few standing dead oak trees like this one over here it's actually a pretty good size one 
that guy right there has already lost all its branches. I don't know if we'll be able to tell in there. See, we just got a pole standing there. All right, so we'll drop this real quick and we'll cut up a couple big chunks, throw it in the carry-all on the tractor, and then get out of here. <laughs> Not my best work and I dropped it in that maple up there so the top of it's gonna be stuck up there but we got a good uh, 30 35 feet of trunk here that looks pretty nice Go ahead and cut this up It. Is that the best way to carry a chainsaw on your tractor? Let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below this video. I'm interested to see what you guys think uh, about the saw haul. Uh, it does the job for me and you know I'm going to continue to use it around the farm here and if I have any other thoughts or feedback or criticism about it I'll be sure to share that but it was easy to install. It's made in America and it makes the chainsaw super convenient. Now, I will point out, because some of you guys who watch me regularly might say this, I do have chainsaw scabbards built into my carry-all here. So for this job today, I could have just as easily brought the chainsaw out on, on that. But I don't always keep the carry-all on the tractor, and I don't always use the carry-all in the woods, especially if I'm doing some trail work, I usually have the box plate on the back. So for those of you who might think that, uh, you know, the, the saw haul is not necessary or I didn't really need it, if I was doing any other work out here, it would have been a lot more convenient to have the saw on the tractor back there. So there's my thoughts. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Cue the music.